the president takes the bulk. He is the commander in chief. But then we have to look that Mr. President has to work with some lieutenants. He has some subordinate. So in the whole issue, the president inclusive and down to the lowest ladder, we need patriotism. Patriotism is the key word. We, if the country is worth living, then it was dying for. That is number one. Again, when you are talking about the whole problems now, be it Boko Haram, that is, a, you call it terrorist, it is terrorist, mm -hmm. then cattle restaurants, the banditries, farmer herders, the communal IPOP, whatever, they are now interwoven. Why do I say so? I have two, three principal witnesses that were kidnapped here in Abuja, kidnapped by some people from that you can term the IPOB group. They took them to these banditious cattle restaurants and onward to Boko Haram. And the Boko Haram settled those people. And then the Boko Haram negotiated for ransom. the ransom. So, so they this, are all related now. That is the issue. That <laughs> is why the issue become more complex. I have three people that were kidnapped and they went through this scenario. The astonishing part of it, the security agencies, they know all these their camps, be it banditry camp, be it Boko Haram. Because look, night comes out, we have satellite. We have all this. A common secondary school student now can do drum to track something. Do you think our intelligentsia doesn't have that record? They do. So and what exactly is the problem? That is the issue. Patriotism. A lot of people are trying to make money. Because this phantom says people in the presidency are making money, ministers are making money, members of the National Assembly are making money, so I too will make my own. And you see this, let's say the Boko Haram, to some extent they are educated religiously with their own definition of religion. But come to this bandit mm -hmm. that are hooligans, people that take <laughs> wheat, take rock, uneducated, as far as Western civilization is concerned, these Fulani people that they are going or whatever you call them, they were the ones that for when you say Fulani, Fulani, they are the uncivilized people that they can kill and maim like nothing. So these are the people and they have now been integrated. All this in the second place. And another thing, some of this government, they don't even study their advisors. The people in the government connived and pay ransom. And if the ransom is taken, only about less than 30% of the ransom reaches the bandit. Yeah. The scenario in Casina is there. The scenario in Zapra is there. It is the civil servant, the so-called civil servant, the chairman of local government, the district head, they are the one now distributing the booty. Hmm. So the issue is so complex. That's why I will now turn it back to be patriotic. And because of this uh, laxity, Yet it is now in the northeast. It doesn't affect us in the southwest. Now it has come some 48 kilometers to Abuja. And people are being kidnapped right inside Abuja. Asokoro, Maitama, we are no longer safe. So it will now reach. And it's because of this patrol, because of few dollars or few naira you compromise. Just last week, the news were going around that the Boko Haram were in Yobe recruiting people with 20,000. 20,